If you are on the hunt for some quick and easy summertime meals, I have got you covered. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some delicious recipes with you guys that only take minutes to put together and they are so, so good. Let's go ahead and get cooking, y'all. This Southwest chicken salad is one of my favorites in today's video. Now granted, I love all the recipes I'm sharing, but this was so good, you guys. So I've got some rotisserie chicken there, and I'm just gonna add in some diced up avocado. I'm gonna add in some bacon bits, about half a can of corn. Now y'all know I'm not measuring, clearly as you can see. My recipe inspiration for this, I'll have linked down below, but I'm just using what I have on hand. But with chicken salad, you know any way that you make chicken salad you can literally add anything and everything that you want and it is so good i'm going to add in some cheese as well and then for my dressing on mine i chose to blend up some cottage cheese and i did half ranch and half dry taco seasoning mix i did i just added a little bit of both taste tested it until i got the you know flavor that i wanted and that is my sauce for my chicken salad um I absolutely love doing blended cottage cheese as sauces. It helps bulk up that protein and helps a meal be super filling. And this was so good, you guys. I just taste tested it and I added in some lime juice as needed. And this was one of my favorites. I personally don't like raw pepper, so I used roasted pepper from a jar and chopped that up and added that in as well. And for me, doing the roasted pepper, um, even like sauteing the vegetables and adding them into dishes, I like that a ton better than just adding in raw veggies. So if you are like me and you're not a fan of like certain raw vegetables, just try cooking them um, and adding them or buying them already, you know, cooked like that because those roasted peppers are so easy to find at the grocery store. And if you are a home canner, you can even make them yourself at home. But I'm telling y'all, this literally took only about 10 minutes to put together. I just served it with crackers. You could serve it with chips, whatever you like. This was so stinking good. These spinach and artichoke pizzas make the perfect summertime lunch. It only takes a few minutes to put together. They are so delicious. And if you don't want to worry about turning your oven on to cook the pizzas, you can do them on the grill. You can even do them on the Blackstone. You can do them in an air fryer. You have so many options where you don't have to turn the oven on to heat your house up. But I've just got a couple of the non-flatbreads. I love using those. I always find them at my local Walmart. And I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. I did it on both sides, which y'all are only seeing on one side. I did olive oil and then some Italian seasoning on both sides. And then on my flat side that I was making, building the pizzas, I added in some minced garlic. And I'm just brushing it all around. And then we are just going to start adding on the toppings. We've got our spinach. We have some artichoke. We've got some little cherry tomatoes. We have some fresh mozzarella, Parmesan cheese, loaded up, and I'm telling you, this was so simple, but so refreshing and delicious, perfect for summer. I just added a little bit of salt and pepper on top before I added all my cheese. I'm gonna add on the mozzarella and add on some Parmesan and then we're just gonna, I'm gonna put these in the oven, but like I said, there's a lot of different options for you to cook these where you don't have to turn the oven on, but it only takes about 10 minutes just to heat everything through and melt that cheese and get everything nice and bubbly. These are so good, you guys. I'm not even playing. So simple and absolutely delicious. Next up is chicken, sausage, and veggie skillet. Y'all, this was so good. This one is really good in several different ways because you're using quick vegetables, you're using already pre-cooked protein, and it's one pot. 
one pot so that helps you with a lot of dishes so this is like an all-in-one perfect meal for the summertime or if you have a busy night you need a quick lunch this is definitely a go-to for me so I've just cut up my chicken sausage I'm gonna add that into that skillet with some butter and then we are going to get that toasted up and get some color on both sides now I definitely should have used my bigger skillet for this but I'm just gonna make it work <laughs> Um, I've got some color on that sausage and then I'm just going to add in my zucchini. I'm breaking it up and then we're going to add in some seasonings. I keep it basic. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and some paprika. I do also add in some minced garlic, but we're just going to season it up and then we're going to add in that sweet potato. If you need quick and easy meals, check out your frozen veggie section because that's a really good way to add in some vegetables to your quick meals. Using that frozen sweet potato definitely saved me a lot of time because it was already pre-cooked and all I had to do was just heat it through and it gave it really good flavor and did not take near as long as if, if I had started from a raw sweet potato. So if you need like quick changes like that for vegetables, check out your frozen veggie section. There's nothing wrong with it and it's a great way to add veggies in super quick. So I'm going to add everything in, try to mix it together since I had too small of a skillet, but hey, I made it work. That's all that matters. From putting everything into this skillet, it takes about 10 to 12 minutes just to get everything cooked through. Now granted, mine was a little overcrowded, so for me it probably would took a little bit longer than that, but if you have a larger skillet um, and you're not overcrowding everything, it's only going to take a few minutes to put all this together and it is so good. I'm going to add in a few dashes of balsamic vinegar. I love the tang that it gives with the sweet and savory combo of this dish. It is just so good and I think it just brings it together. But I'm going to give it one last stir and make sure that kind of coats everything. And this is so good, so easy. Another perfect quick summer meal. Last but not least are these delicious breakfast quesadillas y'all these were so good i've made breakfast quesadillas a thousand ways but this night we decided to do steak egg and cheese and they were a hit in my electric skillet there i'm just adding in my pepper and adding in my onion i did give it some seasoning with just some all-purpose seasoning and i'm just going to let those cook down a little bit because that's just a personal preference for us I, we like the veggies cooked down more before we add in our protein. For our protein, I'm going to be using those frozen um, shaved steaks. I get them at Walmart. I actually just recently picked up the Steakums brand at Ruler Foods because they were cheaper. Um, I have not tried them yet, but the Walmart brand sirloin patties are super good. You can find them in the frozen section. and once the vegetables get cooked down to your liking you just add those patties right in add seasoning and they will cook down within only about five minutes and like i'm telling you these are so quick i've made so many quick delicious meals with these frozen patties and they are a staple in my house Once I get the steak cooked down a little bit, I'm just going to add in some more seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, salt and pepper, and then I'm just going to finish cooking that until that meat is cooked to our liking. I am frying some eggs over on my other skillet, and then we'll just put everything together, and these literally took no time. I just served them with some home canned fried potatoes, and this was so good. So I did mine made to order. I let everybody pick what cheese they wanted. And then some people wanted runny eggs. Some people wanted fully cooked eggs. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it custom. I just chose to because I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> and you know, there's times where I like my meals a certain way. And so I tried to be accommodating to everybody else because <laughs> they're eating it as well. Um, so I'm just gonna show you just basic one of them. Um, that way y'all can kind of see but I like to add a slice of cheese on both sides of the quesadilla and then I put the egg on and then I add some of that steak mixture and then I like to fold both of those ends in and then I fold it together so it kind of makes like a pocket so instead of you know it just being like a quesadilla that you would get at the Mexican restaurant I make mine a pocket just because it's kind of easier to eat and I make these pockets like this for Luke as well for 
work. He said they're easier and stuff doesn't like fall out of them while he's driving down the road. Um, and so I think I've just got into a habit of if I do anything with quesadillas, I make it into a pocket. <laughs> but these are so good. You know, like I said, you don't have to customize them, um, but you definitely can. And if you didn't want to do egg, you could just do the steak and cheese. These are so good. Um, here's what it looks like. Like I said, I kind of make mine into a little pocket. And then I did um, butter fry them in my skillet just to give them some color. I served these with some home canned fried potatoes that I did on the stove. I did mine on the carb counter tortillas and these were so good, you guys. All of these recipes in today's video were so, so good. I could not rave over them enough. They were so easy to put together, only taking a few minutes to be able to cook your family a delicious meal, regardless if it is for lunch or for dinner, whatever you choose, these are so good. I really hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some new meal inspiration and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.